Hey, it's Tom Ferguson, Sports Information Director at Lackawanna College, and it is Men's Soccer Media Day, just a couple days before 2024 kicks off for the Falcons, and uh, we're talking to a couple of our players here. Sebastian Carmona joining us now from Scranton. Sebastian came back this year. I know it's been kind of a crazy offseason for you guys, but how does it feel to know that you're finally getting out on the field in the next couple days? It feels great. Like the guys push me every day. I know um, one of the guys here, me and Aramir, we trained all winter and summer for uh, trying to go to USL 2 uh, with playing NPSL and then also heading uh, to Dominican Republic and playing with some pros down there was really fun. Uh, some guys, some friends I made over the summer, some guys from Dartmouth um, yeah, and guys like that, Raf and those guys from Dartmouth really push me every day and now is finally the time's here, you know? Right. We, go, we went from six to seven, to eight, to nine, to 10, to 11, 12, 13. And right, the, the numbers have steadily yeah. increased, right? You know, so everybody kind of getting in. There was a real good core group of you guys, at least at the beginning of uh, beginning of the fall semester, that had kind of had to stick together there because there was some uncertainty as to what was going to happen there. But how did you guys, you know, you, Seb, uh, Amir, and some of the other guys, how did you kind of stick together and, and, and keep things tight uh, to get to this point? Well, honestly, with hard times, like obviously uh, Zach leaving last year and, and now we have uh, Coach Berg and mm -hmm. Coach Micah here, um, it's it's not even like at the same time. At the same time, even though it was later on in the season, last minute, I'm glad the coaches that we have here, I'm glad the guys that we have here and every guy that was here last year, all of us stayed in touch, uh, had our laughs over the phone through FaceTime, obviously, because <laughs> everyone's scattered. Right, um, right. But no, we kept in touch throughout and... Now the guys are here and we're more connected than ever because now we're not just friends or teammates from everywhere else. We're like a right. family here on right. the field. Back for your second year at, at Lackawanna College, what are you studying? Uh, sports management still. So what do you want to do with sports management? So I actually plan on doing a business major just because it's so broad. Right. So with if, if I want to go into the sports industry, I realize that a business is where it's going to be at. A business major, mm -hmm. a business degree, a bachelor's degree is where everything's going to be. And my plans are really just to go... Uh, to my home, to one of my other home countries, because uh, I'm Mexican American, I want to go right. to Mexico and really uh, work with Liga MX down there, the professional league down there, mm -hmm. possibly Spain and England. Just go abroad and learn really everything, learn all these cultures, because uh, well, we live in the United States and it's so different here. So right, right, and and obviously try to stick in soccer if you can, right? Yeah, stick in yeah. football yeah, if that's you can, the main goal, and, but and be a part of obviously it. Obviously, everyone coming to college here wants to make the big bucks. So right. regardless of where I am in life, as long as I'm happy and my mindset's correct, right. uh, you can't get any wrong. Last year, obviously, came in as a first-year player. Took a couple games to kind of get yeah. your feet under you. But what was it that clicked last year for you? And what are you gonna? Try, how do you expand upon that? How do you do better this year? Yeah. So the guys that were here last year, that are here this year, they pushed me every day. They told me like, like, like you got this. Just keep going every day. Keep going. The coaching staff from mm -hmm. last year, they helped me as well. And just overall, day by day, you know, just. Obviously, everything on the field is much more different than off the field. Just as you work on the field, you have to work off the field just as hard right. regarding your mindset and everything, your physical peak. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just kept doing that every day, uh, just tightening into myself, you know, locking in as right. the motive is. Right. And just working out every day and practicing um, outside and in practice as well. Right. And eventually, as soon as I got the first goal, well... They started coming, they started right? Started coming, started flowing. <laughs> that's so. how it's. That's how it happens. The dam broke, and you were yeah. able to get some. So, so that's the goal, obviously, this yeah. year is to get a lot more of those. Yeah, right? much more, <laughs> much more. Yeah. So you're, you're Mexican American. Uh, there's a lot of Mexican, Spanish, Hispanic yeah. food in our area in Scranton, right here in our back door or, or our backyard. What, is there anything that stands out to you? What we got here? Well, I, I've got a couple <laughs> that I enjoy, but you're, you're someone that, that maybe yeah. is a little more a little more experienced in the culture than I am. Yeah, so like I like I like actually uh, La Chingada, uh, Chicanos is good. Yep. I like uh, Italos. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but Burrito Loco is pretty good, and and La, La Tona Tech is pretty good as well. Yeah. I mean, yep. I mean, it just depends on what you're getting because everyone sees what's on the menu mm -hmm. at these Mexican restaurants. But if you're if you know and you go into a deeper dive of the Mexican culture, you'll learn what's uh, behind the menu and right. more of like what's right. different than right. everyone else's menus that they get. Okay, all right. What do you like to do when you're not studying, you're not playing soccer, you're not thinking of, you know, maybe you're still thinking about it anyway. What do you like to do in your off time? 
Off time, um, I mean train. I mean training is every day. I right, mean, it's of part, course. It's part of my life, pretty much at this. How do you? Point. I guess the question is, how do you unwind? You know, you're kind unwind. of done with your day. How do you unwind? What do you do? Well, I mean, fa fam family's first for me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very, very close with my mom, uh, my grandma, my sister, my dad. Yeah. Um, so, like my whole family, everyone that's in that place right now is the ones that push me every day, and mm -hmm. and for my sake, it's like tomorrow's never promised. So it's right. good to enjoy the moment with them, enjoy it with your friends. And I've made uh, really close relationships here at Lackawanna right. as well. So Love that outlook, man. Looking forward to this year. Let's do yeah. some damage, right? We're excited. <laughs> good to talk to you. Good luck this year. Hope to talk to you a lot more. Sounds good. Right, Sebastian Carmona here. It's Lackawanna College Men's Soccer Media Day on LackawannaFalcons.com and Lackawanna's YouTube channel. Let's go Lack.